Hey hello friends, in this video let's look about what are conditions in stages. Okay, so conditions is an option that is provided inside stages which you can use when you want to run your Azure pipeline in different stages based on certain conditions. Alright, so in order to make you understand I will give you a very basic example. For example say you have two different stages, stage 1 and stage 2. If you want to run your stage 2 only when stage 1 succeeds. Okay, then you can use this option called condition. Again, if, if you want to run your stage 2 only when your stage 1 fails, in this kind of situation also you can use this option called condition. Okay, now let's look at a very quick demo to actually make you understand how this condition option works inside Azure pipeline. Okay. Now let me go and edit this first pipeline which I have been using for demo purpose. Okay, just a quick recap here. Uh, we have three stages here: stage QA, pre-prod, and prod. For better understanding, I'm gonna rename it to stage one, stage two, and stage three. Okay, so these are three different stages I have here. Now let me specify a condition here. Condition failed. So when I provide this option what actually happens is only when my stage 1 fails only when my stage 1 fails the stage 2 will start running okay or else i don't run my stage 2 okay similarly if you want to provide some other option in your stage 3 so what you can do is say after our dependencies oops I'm gonna provide condition there's an option called succeeded okay I'm gonna check the succeeded and I can provide the stage name here let's say it, this is stage 2 here right stage 2 okay just a quick recap about what I did here so I will run this stage 2 only when my stage 1 is failed similarly I will run my stage 3 only when my stage 2 succeeded I know this is a contradicting uh, logic but do not worry now uh, I will I will show uh, uh, you know I will show another example which will make you understand much better. Now let me validate and save this. Stage 3 depends on... Okay. Cancel. I have given a depend on stage 1 and stage 2. Now validate and save. Okay, now let me run this pipeline. Okay, now you can see all my stages have now been lined up this will take a while to run so I'm just gonna pass the video for a while and then resume once my stage completes now I am back um, now you can see in my stages section my stage 1 is completed while stage 2 and stage 3 are skipped okay so this is something to note that is why I, I gave this example for the very first time like my stage 1 completed, my stage 2 and stage 3 got skipped. The reason is because this is my condition, right? I want to run my stage 2 only when it is failed. So this is skipped. Obviously my stage 1 passed, so this is not gonna run. And here I am telling succeeded of stage 2, which means only if my stage 2 got succeeded, stage 3 will run. Since the stage 2 got skipped, stage 3 also did not run. Okay, so this is a very very basic example uh, that I can show you to actually understand how this condition works. Okay, now let me change this condition to succeeded. So now, now understand the difference about how this works. So uh, like I'm not providing any name inside here. The reason is because since uh, do, we do have only one stage before this. So it is not mandatory to actually provide any name here. 
so now let me run this pipeline again my pipeline started running i'm going to pause it for a while now i'm back now you can see all these three stages completed successfully for the previous condition right so now if you recap this again i provided condition has succeeded obviously my stage 1 succeeded so stage 2 comes and runs again again in stage 3 i have provided succeeded of stage 2 which where my stage 2 also succeeded so now my stage 3 run okay now let's look at another basic example okay so let me revert to my previous example called failed okay this time around it got failed it should fail right so now let me do something to actually make this particular uh, stage a fail okay now let me provide something called file one dot py which this is a non existing script file so i'm just i'm just giving some uh, random file to actually make it fail so now let me run this validate and save see this once i run this obviously my expectation is now the stage 1 should fail so let me wait for a moment to actually see what actually happens okay now i'm not going to pass this video uh, let's look at live again uh, live about what's actually happening in stage 1 so st stage 1 is taking some time to kick start once it kick start i am expecting it to fail so just let's wait for a moment okay so meanwhile this is running just quick recap about what we have been discussing until now so we have a beautiful option called conditions inside your azure pipeline which you can use inside our stages which um, actually gives that very much control over how your pipeline is to run okay so this is not an easy option this is actually an excellent option okay this is not a you know, it can be very well uh, used in your real time azure pipeline because it gives you much more control and you know you do not want to waste time when something doesn't happen as expected for example there is no point in running multiple stages when your stage one actually fails isn't it so that is the reason why we can use this condition option then and there which will actually save you a lot of time and uh, you know which will actually give you more control over your pipeline all right so yeah now i am back to the screen here you can see my now my stage one actually failed as expected the reason is because um, the i have provided an incomplete or an uh, non existing python file and it is looking for that script file and it is actually not available so it actually fails okay it doesn't matter all i need is i need my stage 1 to fail which actually happened okay now you can see now my stage 2 is actually uh, looking to run okay so which which uh, now my condition in stage 2 is so if my stage 1 fails okay now my stage if my stage 1 fails then run this stage 2 okay now i am expecting the stage 2 to run okay now let me look at that and now look at now let's look what is actually happening <coughs> here it is you now you can see my now my stage 2 completed and now stage 3 uh, is about to kick start i am expecting the stage 3 to be running successfully okay so this as you see in this example um, this gives you more control about how your uh, pipeline runs in certain stages in certain situations you might not want to run your further stages when stage 1 is failed right so you for example say you might have five different stages in your pipeline you do not want to run your further stages if your previous one fails okay so you, so this kind of uh, this kind of control is actually available in azure pipeline right now you can see my stage 3 runs i am expecting it to be completed in a while yeah now i'm back can see now my stage 3 also completed successfully 
right so this is how you can use condition option inside your stages which actually gives you more control over your azure pipeline all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you